Former Foreigner lead singer Lou Graham retired on stage last night. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. There was no final tour extravaganza. It was just Lou Graham in New York State last night doing a show, talking to the crowd and telling them that, well, he had enough. He told the crowd, you've got to be smart enough to know when to walk away from it. And it's that time for me. Graham told the crowd that he was excited when he got into rock and roll and he talked to his wife and some music industry people about his future. Needless to say, it was a big surprise to the crowd who cheered him on, cheered his decision. And there was a lot of respect going on in that room. It was kind of a nice thing. We'll put a link to the video of his speech in the description of this video. I'll always remember hearing feels like the first time for the first time in the winter of 1977. I just turned 17 and it was around the time that Hotel California by the Eagles, The Things You Do For Love by 10CC and So Into You by the Atlanta Rhythm Section was still in the top 10. And it was one of those staring at the speaker moments when I first heard it on WKBW in Buffalo. And I remember thinking, who is that? And a big part of that, of course, was Lou Graham's voice. I remember writing in my journal about it because I, I kept a journal and I would usually write about what I did that day. I even wrote what I had for lunch. I don't know why I did that, but I would always include albums that I had just either first heard or bought. And I remember buying that debut album. It meant a lot to me. I only saw Foreigner once in the summer of 1980, along with, I think it was Warren Zevon and Ian Hunter. It was called Rock Circus 2 in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. He really was the true voice of that band, along with guitarist Mick Jones. Foreigner had 16 top 40 hits with Graham. Nine were in the top 10. I Wanna Know What Love Is was their biggest hit, reaching number one in 1984. On Spotify, it's also number one for them, having been played 165 million, next to number two, Waiting for a Girl Like You, at 55 million plays followed by Jukebox Hero, Cold as Ice, Hot-Blooded, and Urgent. The singer left Foreigner in 1990. He had two big solo albums, 1987's Ready or Not and 1989's Long Hard Look. He was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor when he was just 47 years old. But after watching an episode of 2020, discovered that there was a laser surgery solution for him. Unfortunately, after the operation, he found out that his pituitary gland was damaged, causing him to gain weight and stay off the scene for about a year. He and Mick Jones have had an up and down relationship through the years, but you know, that's gonna happen with two guys who've been in the same band for so long. They mended fences when the pair were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame not that long ago. And of course, there was the reunion shows in the last few years with Lou Graham grabbing the microphone in front of Foreigner once again. Will he perform with Foreigner again? As far as we know, and people are being specific here, that Lou Graham has kind of announced his retirement for performing solo. Will he guest now and then? It's hard to say. The thing about a vocalist is you can't just leave it and just come back whenever you feel like it. You got to keep the pipes in tune. And we also reported earlier this year that Lou Graham and Mick Jones were going to go back into the studio and finish unfinished Foreigner works, things that were in progress. He's also got a show planned with John Payne of Asia, the other singer of Asia, in January. And as far as we know, that's still booked. There are no tour dates on Lou Graham's website. I said this when I was talking about Steve Perry this past summer. You know, our reputation, it's not our business. Our reputation is always someone else's business. They're gonna decide if you're good or not. Whether that's true or not, they're going to decide. Reputation is someone else's business. Lou Graham had an incredible reputation. Sure, he lived the life of a rock star. Five years before he had the brain tumor, he decided to quit all the bad stuff. But he'll go down in history as one of the great rock singers. He's earned his retirement. And here's the thing, we're talking about retirement here. We're not doing an, an obituary, which we do way too often. He's 68 years old. He's 10 years older than I am. Most of our classic rockers are at least 10 years older than we are, and we're losing them fast. So congratulations, Lou Graham, on your retirement. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. And can you do me a favor? Can you share some foreigner moments you've had? First time you heard them, whether you saw them in concert, you get a chance to meet them. Oh, wait, I gotta show you something. Speaking of that, nice autographed album, Mick Jones, Lou Graham, their first album. I treasure this in my collection. If you've ever seen some of my interviews where I'm sitting right over there actually in front of our wall, which is a wall of autographed albums that I've gotten throughout my 35 years in radio, um, they mean an awful lot to me. Share your memories about Foreigner and Lou Graham. It's our way of tipping our hat 
to an unbelievable singer. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. And by the way, Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.